Hello, my brothers and sisters. This is Father Jorge Ramirez. I am the pastor, the parochial administrator of Net Catholic. Thank you again for joining me in this short reflection that we are having every week during this time season. Let us remember that we are reflecting on the Lenten observances. We talked already about prayer, about fasting, and now is the turn to talk about almsgiving. The Lord God is inviting us to give alms, to help other people. But the Lord is saying to us to help other people with the condition, two conditions or two special elements. The first one is to help people to give alms in secret. Helping people without the necessity to tell others that we are helping. So the Lord is saying to us in the gospel that your right hand doesn't know what your left arm does. That means it's very important to help others, but no make the propaganda, no make the announcements that we are helping others. The Lord God who sees in the secret know everything that we are doing. So first is to help people in the secret. Second one is uh, to be humble, to help people from the bottom of our heart, to serve others always in a particular way like Jesus did. Let us remember that Jesus was humble. Jesus helped other people. Even Jesus washed the feet of the apostles, which is a task of a slave. So he went to serve the others in a humble way, and he is asking us also to help other people in this way. Very important. So we can help people. We can give arms in many ways. One is our, with our uh, physical possessions, to give money, to give clothes, to give food, to give er everything or anything that the other person needs for their daily lives. This is very important because we are blessed by God and we need to share this blessing with our brothers and sisters. Second way that we can help people also is through our time because it's very important also to give advice, to console people, to share quality time with others. This is another way that we can give alms to stay with others, to teach others, to advise other people, to visit people, to once again share time, quality time with others. So the invitation during Lent is to remember that we are blessed by God, that God is giving us wonderful things, but the Lord is inviting us to share these blessings, to share our possessions, to share our money, to share our time, with our brothers and sisters who need our help. My brothers and sisters, I invite you to pray with me and to ask for the Holy Spirit to give us the spirit of generosity, to be kind with other people, to help other people in the, in, in the best possible way. So I invite you to pray with me. Lord God, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you, Lord, for all the wonderful things that you have given us. Please send your Holy Spirit upon us so that we can have this spirit of almsgiving, to give alms, to help other people through our service, through our love for them, because we want to act like you, who always serve all the humanity that even you gave your life for our salvation. Help us always and help all the humanity to be like you, serve the others, and to give people the things that they need for living. Our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And may the Lord bless you and protect you always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
God bless you, and I hope to see you soon, hopefully here in church. God bless you. A big hug. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.